Hi guys, welcome back to the sleep challenge. Today we're talking supplements again and the supplement of the day is magnesium. I know this is a group favorite. It's something we talk a lot about in the Facebook community. Um, it's been a real savior in my world and I know it's been a savior to a lot of you guys too. But today I wanna to talk about the different forms of magnesium, how you can use it to improve your sleep and some of the benefits of just adding magnesium to your world in just a general sense. Um, for those of you who have never tried it before because it is something that can really help with your sleep if you're struggling. So to start, magnesium is a mineral that if you are struggling with stress, if you're struggling with chronic fatigue, chronically high cortisol demands on the body, magnesium is something that your body is flying through. It's using it up really quickly. Throw some coffee into the mix because you're tired and you're trying to keep yourself going that way. It's another thing that's gonna to deplete your magnesium even faster. So a lot of people in those early stages of adrenal fatigue are really burning up that magnesium really quickly, add sugar to the mix with the coffee, and it's even more of a shit storm. And I really recommend it as a supplement that you take to supplement for what's being lost, especially if you're under a lot of stress, because it can help offset some of that nervousness, that anxiety, that general tension. It can really help with that sort of thing. Magnesium is really well known for helping reduce symptoms of things like restless legs, um, cramping, tension headaches. It's really good for just relaxing and calming the body. Because it is so relaxing, it can really help put you into a deeper state of sleep. So it's going to improve the quality of that REM sleep, you know, that really whole full body rejuvenating REM sleep that you're getting. So it can help with the sleep time, deeper quality of sleep. And who couldn't benefit from a little bit more of that in their world, right? One thing to note about magnesium is that it, because it's so relaxing, whatever doesn't get absorbed to your muscles and whatever stays in that intestinal tract relaxes those intestinal muscles. So what I'm trying to say is, is that magnesium is a really wonderful natural laxative. And depending on the type of magnesium that you get, depending on how absorbable that magnesium is to your muscles, you know, some forms might stay um, in a higher concentration in your GI, where others will be better absorbed into the muscle. The laxative effect will, will depend on the quality of the magnesium that you have. So you wanna choose magnesium based on what you're using it for. So that being said, if you're somebody who's highly stressed, who has that muscle tension, you're looking to bring that magnesium into your muscles and benefit from it more fully, then you want something like a magnesium citrate or a magnesium glycinate versus something like a magnesium oxide, which works better if you're using it for more of a laxative. So all magnesium will help with regularity if that's something that you're looking for, but opt for an oxide if you're looking for more of the laxative effect rather than the other benefits, or go for something like a citrate or a glycinate if you're looking for but more of those full body total relaxing effects. So what I recommend is starting with a capsule. So I just have 200 milligram capsules of the bisglycinate form, and this is one of my favorites. I take one or two of these a night, and if I'm extra stressed, I might even take three, but generally I stay around two to 400 milligrams. And of course, because it is a natural laxative, if you take a little bit too much for your body, your body's gonna let you know. So start around 200 milligrams and see how it goes. And if you wanna kick it up the next night, go to 400, that's something that you could totally try. Um, some people who are super sensitive might find that magnesium upsets their stomach. I personally haven't had that experience, but I know some of you have. So if that's the case for you, something like a nice topical magnesium spray or oil that you can massage into your skin is a really nice way to absorb magnesium and experience the benefits without any of the digestive stuff. So this ancient mineral spray is super nice. One thing that I do find is because it's so mineral rich, it can make my skin a little bit itchy. So I like to mix it with coconut oil and then like I rub it on my belly, I rub it on my legs. I just, you know, I tend to rub it where my muscles hurt. So it's nice if you have a partner who can massage it into your back or your shoulders. That's a nice way to ease up the muscle tension and get like localized magnesium going to particular areas. 
So yeah, you can try that option as well. You can also soak in it, I forgot to mention that, just throwing a cup, a cup or two of Epsom salts into your bath, that's magnesium. So you're gonna be absorbing it in the water while you soak in it. So that's another great way to get it topically as well. And of course, we can't forget that there's always food. So things like those dark leafy greens are really rich in magnesium. So that's an awesome place to start. So your challenge of the day is to get more magnesium in in some shape or form. Bye guys, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening.